हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ आलोक सेमवाल एंड टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाई परफॉर्मेंस लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी इन शॉर्ट फॉर्म इट इज़ नोन एज एच टुडे आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन डेवलपमेंट सम डेफिनेशंस एंड एडवांटेजेस ऑफ एच सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल brief history and some definitions related to liquid chromatography liquid chromatography was defined in the early 1900s by the work of the russian botanist mikhail s tsvet his study included separating compounds specially leaf pigments extracted from plants using a solvent in a column packed with particles T. Sweat coined the name chromatography. There is an interesting fact that curiously the Russian name T. Sweat means color. Similarly, chromatography means color writing. In modern world, liquid chromatography in its various forms has become one of the most powerful tools in analytical chemistry. In 1915, R. M. Willstetter, German chemist, won Nobel Prize for similar experiment. So, first question which will come in everyone's mind that what is H P L C, and for what it is used. So, full form of H P L C is high pressure liquid chromatography, or high performance liquid chromatography. HPLC is generally used for the separation, identification, quantification and characterization of mixture of compounds. Now next question is why HPLC has two types of full forms high pressure liquid chromatography or high performance liquid chromatography? So for the answer of this question we will study few facts associated with it. The acronym HPLC coined by the late professor Kasbah Howarth for his 1970 originally indicated the fact that high pressure was used to generate the flow required for liquid chromatography in packed columns. In the beginning pumps only had pressure capability of 500 psi This was called high pressure liquid chromatography or HPLC. The early 1970s saw a tremendous leap in technology. These new HPLC instruments could develop up to 6000 psi of pressure and incorporated improved injectors, detectors and columns. HPLC really began to take hold in the mid to late 1970s with continued advances in performance during this time smaller particles even higher pressure was used and the acronym HPLC remained the same but the name was changed to high performance liquid chromatography so modern instruments not only apply high pressure but use of sophisticated instruments and techniques brings the change in its name from high pressure liquid chromatography to high performance liquid chromatography now before starting instrumentation of hplc system we will learn about different terms related to hplc so first important term is baseline Baseline is the portion of the chromatogram recording the detector response when only the mobile phase emerges from the column. A baseline is a fixed point of reference that is used for comparison purposes. Next term is chromatogram. Chromatogram is a graphical or other representation of detector response. or other quantity used as a measure of the concentration of the analyte a chromatogram is essentially the output of a chromatography run it is an electronic file or hard copy containing the information generated during the chromatography run next term is eluent eluent is the mobile phase 
it moves the analytes through the chromatograph in liquid chromatography the illuent is the liquid solvent in gas chromatography it is the carrier gas next term is illuent it is a solution obtained by illusion it represents the portion of the illuent that emerges from the column outlet containing analytes in solution now the last term is theoretical plates a theoretical plate in many separation processes is a hypothetical zone or stages in which two phases such as the liquid and vapor phases of a substance establish an equilibrium with each other the number of theoretical plates forms the basis of chromatographic theory and is a key parameter used in all modes of chromatography for measuring column efficiency theoretical plates is represented by the formula n is equal to 16 tr upon w whole square in this formula n is the number of theoretical plates tr is retention time and w represents peak width now next important question is why hplc is a better technique over other liquid chromatography techniques so the answer is hplc is highly improved form of column chromatography instead of a solvent being allowed to drip through a column under gravity it is forced through under high pressures of up to 100 so psi that makes it much faster it also allows you to use a very much smaller particle size for the column packing material which gives a much greater surface it also allows you to use a very much smaller particle size for the column packing material which gives a much greater surface area for interactions between the stationary phase and the molecules flowing past it detection methods used in hplc are highly automated and extremely sensitive so that's enough for today In the next class we will discuss types of HPLC techniques instrumentation of HPLC and few other applications related to HPLC